Hey you, it's Mo. Today I'm going to share with you the Hermes Plein Air Collection. Now this collection includes a complexion balm, a illuminating powder that you can use on the face and the eyes. It also includes a radiant matte powder, powder brush, and little silk blotting papers. We're going to focus in on all of these products. I'm going to share details with you. I'm going to apply everything and we're going to do a wear test and we're going to see what they're all about. I'm going to do my best to keep it as much Hermes as possible. And I think the only product that's not going to be Hermes will probably be my concealer and bronzer. But other than that, we're going to see what these beautiful products are all about. So let's hydrate and begin. So this collection is not new. This collection has been out for a little bit, but it was not available over in the States. You could have purchased it at Harrods or Selfridges, one of the two or both, I don't remember. <laughs> um, but it recently came over and it was just a lot more easily accessible and I picked up all the pieces and I'm excited to share them all with you. So let's start off with some details. First off, we have the Natural Enhancing Complexion Balm. Packaging is very much like all of the other Hermes Beauty products. Now this is a balm that does contain a SPF of 30 and I have it in the shade number 70 Suntal. I do believe they have a total of 12 shades, but this is like a complexion balm so I would assume it's a little bit more flexible. But from what I'm seeing, because I did purchase this direct from the Hermes website. I mean, the shade range is okay for the 12. Now, as I was looking into purchasing everything and just reading and figuring out what exactly the products are, there was something that was described that worked for me. And I was like, oh, okay, that's it. That's all I need to know. <laughs> and that was, it was just one sentence. You know, that's all it takes. <sighs> The Hermes Plein Air Collection is a breath of freedom on the skin. Personally, that did it for me, you know? I am all about variety. I have days where I want to be super glam. I have days where I don't want to be super glam. I want to keep it soft and simple and put a little something and go. And I feel like this is going to be that. But we will see, right? Now... Let's be real here. I mean, we don't all have perfect skin, but I'm hopeful that this gives a little bit of coverage and, you know, will make you feel good as it should. And here is our complexion balm. This is a squeezy tube and it twists off and it does have a seal. And I based my color match on the model. I felt like me and the model, you know, we were, you know, but we'll see. <laughs> So again, I went with the shade 70 Santal, which is described as a deep beige shot through with a subtle hint of red. I like the way they describe things. The complexion balm takes care of the skin. It's formulated with hyaluronic acid complex for long lasting hydration, evening primrose oil, and how do you pronounce this? Bacon. Bacon skull cap to help protect the skin from external aggressors and pollution. It's a mineral-only sunscreen that provides an SPF of 30, sheer coverage, natural radiant finish that lasts up to eight hours. Okay. The Complexion Balm offers adjustable coverage with each of the 12 translucent shades in the range, adapting to various skin tones. The product contains 40 mLs. It's made in Japan, and it retails for $85. Very on par with Hermes, yes? <laughs> Shall we move on to the Radiant Matte Powder? You know, just hearing that, you're saying to yourself, what? <laughs> but yeah, Radiant Matte Powder. Radiant Matte Powder is a soft, silky finishing powder that mattifies the complexion with a translucent glow. And the shade is universal. So the formula is set to contain emollients for long-lasting softness and comfort. And this is made in Italy, and it retails for $90. Face and Eyes Illuminating Powder. It's a fine, silky powder that enhances the complexion with a luminous radiance. This, too, is said to be refillable, and it's made in Italy. So the packaging overall on all of the powder products so far has been the same. 
this type of packaging. And as you can see back here, that's where you would refill. And here we have the powder brush. <laughs> if you know, you know how I feel about these brushes. <laughs> um, this is an artisanal lacquered wood brush. So the brush is perfect for lifting just the right amount of powder to create a delicate veil over the entire face. Its tapered form adapts to all face shapes for a uniform and precise application to targeted areas. This is said to have natural goat hair fibers that are assembled by French brush makers and she's made in France. I kind of feel like this is such a cute little addition to the collection. Um, I do also think it's very extra and very bougie for no reason <laughs> for what it is um but it's the little silk blotting papers it's literally blotting paper blotting sheets but hermes hermes version of it you know so <laughs> packaging is really cute and it opens like so and you would slide out your blotting paper these are blotting papers produced in japan and made of mulberry and hemp fibers. So pretty much nice, high quality blotting papers, which your skin deserves. I mean, at this point, might as well, right? <laughs> All right, so I am in my late 30s. 40 is right there, like I can see it. <laughs> I have combination skin. I do not have perfect skin. I currently have a little friend cooking here yet again, yet again. Um, but I do have combination skin. I have a somewhat oily T-zone and the rest of my face is either dry or normal. It has its own mood. It's got its own mind. <laughs> I'm going to try the balm application a couple of different ways. I want to use my hands because in the videos on Hermes, they use their hands to apply. I'm cool with that. It's quick. It's easy. But, you know, I want to try other ways too. I'm going to use my hands, a brush, and... <sighs> Dare I try a sponge to eat up all of this 80 something dollar product? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay. So as far as like skin prep and primer, I actually am just using my skincare. I'm using my Augustina Spotter, the Rich Cream, which is a great product. Not only does it give your skin all the pampering it needs, but it's also really nice as a primer when, you know, you don't feel like doing the most. <laughs> okay. So that's applied. That's sat on my face for a while. So we're just going to go in. So I'm just put a little on the back of my hand and let's see. Okay. I think we did good. I think we did good. I'm feeling okay. So let's see. Here we go. I am getting a very faint, very, very faint scent, but nothing overpowering. All right, so here is what the skin looks like before we apply anything. I put a little bit on the back of my hand and let's apply with the finger and see. Okay, I feel like that's a decent match. I'm gonna give it a minute. The Complexion Balm offers adjustable coverage with each of the 12 translucent shades in the range, adapting to various skin tones. Okay. So there it is. It gives very light coverage. And I like that it's not overly dewy, but it gives like a soft natural radiance pretty it's pretty okay I want to try now with a brush because I feel sometimes with a brush you get a little bit more coverage and I'm going to just dot it on my face and then I'm going to go in with my brush All right, so that's the brush sides application. This forehead of mine. Very, very skin-like. I know I'm close, but I've been told to do that. <laughs> you guys like to see it all up, 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 up in there. So 
forehead sponge, brush, and finger. This honestly is going to be personal preference on how you apply it because I think all of them look good. I feel like I get just a little bit more coverage, like, like a hair more with the brush. But the finger feels pretty good too. So, you know, for the rest of my face, I want to just take a little bit more and I'm going to take my fingers and apply it. Like I'm going to pat it and see how I feel about that. Personally, I don't mind applying my makeup with my hands because if you do it in the bathroom, as soon as you're done, you just wash your hands and it's okay. Um, so it doesn't bother me. I do definitely feel like this is going to be that type of product for me with the hands. But I mean, it goes on good with the brush and the sponge. So again, personal preference with the application. I'll tell you this though. It feels like nothing is on my face. Like it almost feels like it's already set. I honestly almost feel like I don't need to do anything else. Yeah, this is definitely giving undetectable your skin. No one knows. No one needs to know <laughs> that you're wearing any makeup. And it, it builds up ever so slightly. I don't think I've shared this in a video, but this has really been my go-to everyday concealer. And it's not even really a concealer, but I use it like a concealer. <laughs> it's from Sizzly. This is their Silo Lumiere. I feel like these products um, are very similar in the sense where they don't look like anything. They don't do a lot, but they do enough. And this is something I also use my fingers to just blend out. It's a skincare makeup hybrid, which we love. We love when skincare is in our makeup because, I mean, it's already on your face for a long time. So why not, right? Look at that. It doesn't do a lot, but it does enough to where it just brightens you up a little bit. Wakes you up a bit, you know? which, you know, I can always use in the mornings. I'm going to set my under eye like I normally would. This is my Westman Atelier Pink Bubble Vital Skin Powder, I think it's called. Everything's listed in link down below. Pink Bubble Shade brightens up a little bit more. See how I look like... I still look like me, but there's a little tiny bit of something going on. <laughs> Let's try out this radiant matte powder on the face with the powder brush. I did give this brush a wash prior to. Let's touch it. It's set to be like a super silky powder. Ooh, she's giving off a little color. Let's see. Okay. Blends out to nothing. All right, so I'm just going in very lightly. I say it all the time. It's just, it's, it's honestly the honest truth. <laughs> light layers of powder is key, honestly. If you want your makeup to look good, light layers is key. Okay, this brush is pretty soft. It feels nice on the face. I don't get a lot of luminosity. Are you getting any? Oh, the shape does go over the nose nicely. Let me get a little closer. I mean, it looks nice. Powder is applied. I do have a very light luminosity. Very, again, everything is giving soft and pretty skin-like, you know. As it said, I'm gonna go in with my Sizzly bronzer. It's just enough to bring a little bit of warmth back to the face. Because anytime you put on a complexion product, you're kind of just evening things out. So now we gotta bring back to the face. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with my go-to from Hermes that is no stranger <laughs> around here. 
Rose tan. Rose nuit. I'm gonna apply that all over my lid. I'm just using a fluffy brush. Just dust that all over. And then I'll go in with my rose tan with that same brush and just do a little more on like the outer portion of the eye. It's definitely a soft look. It's nothing, you know, over the top at all. Let's try this beautiful illuminating powder. This is just so gorgeous. I almost don't want to touch it. I want to try it with the powder brush. I feel like it's going to give that very... Okay, I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna use my usual highlighting brush, which is the Wayne Gauze Airbrush. Honestly, either one looks good. This one is definitely a lot lighter and diffused. This one gives a little bit more. I'm just taking a little eyeshadow brush and it says you can use this on the eyes. So let's use it on the eyes. We're going for the soft and pretty look. I'm gonna apply a couple of coats of mascara. This is the new Christian Louis Vuitton mascara that I cannot put down. At first I wasn't sure, but we are getting on great. I really like how it wears and how my lashes look. I'm gonna go in with a little brown in the waterline. I'm gonna use my Sizzly. Now I'm gonna finish everything up and apply my lip. I'm gonna use my go-to from House of Siage. This is the lip liner in Beige Affair. And this from Hermes. Very polished and put together but nothing over the top. Feeling good. <laughs> so here is what the skin looks like. It feels so lightweight on the skin. I genuinely don't feel like I'm wearing anything at all. Like at all. <laughs> I've got some errands to do. I've got some momming to do. I've got some adulting to do. <laughs> so I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and let's see how it performs and holds up. So, the question for you is, complexion only, not the eyes. Because the eyes is something yes, I the used on the cheek. complexion is still very nice. You can tell it's a high quality product. Definitely doesn't look like it's cake on, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, natural? All natural. Okay, thank you, sir. You're welcome, man. All right. Hi, it's currently four... 53 and here is how we are looking oh, I cannot tell you how good this thing feels on the skin do I dare say that this is the most comfortable complexion product I have ever I have tried in a long time I'm gonna say it it feels amazing anywho it's been five hours plus so i've got my little blotting sheets with me all right so blotting sheet let's see what we get i don't even feel like i need it yet like look at that oh, that's great this doesn't feel right i feel like i'm supposed to have some oil That's crazy. I don't even have anything to blot. The blotting sheet is still, well, a little bit. Wow. I mean, I guess that just goes to show how well and how good this is holding up. Hello again. It's dark, but I just wanted to check in and verbally express to you how good things are going. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right. You know, I'm you know, it's it's something new. It's exciting. So you're going to get some excitement from me. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it has been a day that it has. <sighs> Here we are. 
Hey Siri. What time is it? It's 7.15 p.m. So I started a little after 10 a.m. So 10 to 7, that's nine hours. We are rocking this Hermes collection for nine hours. It's pretty good. It did have the claim of eight hours. And I said, you know what? We're going to do a minimum of eight. But we did a little extra because we wanted to just see. <laughs> Let me refresh my lip and then I'll get a little closer so that we can see. Where's my lip liner? Here it is. So that we can see how everything is looking because I'll just say right now it's feeling fantastic. The way it feels is fantastic. So quick refresh. On the forehead, I use my sponge. On this side, I use my brush. And on this side, I use my hands. Honestly, I think application wise, it's really going to be personal preference because I found all of them to look really similar. I couldn't really tell it per se difference. Obviously with the sponge, you got a little less coverage, which is perfect for the forehead because personally, I don't like to have a lot of product on my forehead anyways, but yeah. So that is how everything is looking. I honestly don't feel shiny or greasy and that's rather interesting. <laughs> I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. I didn't get greasy from this product at all, which is amazing. Um, but let's try, but I want to try to blot really quick with my little silk blotting papers. So let's do this again. I feel like if anything, my nose is a little shiny. Would you say? Yeah. Okay. Let's try the nose. Yeah. The nose is a little shiny. Oh. All right. So my nose is a little shiny. I'll take it. Let's see my forehead. If we get anything from there. Yeah. Not really a little bit, but nothing crazy. Wow. Ugh. All right. So we blotted and took down the little bit of shine that I had. I want to share this with you really quick. It's not a big deal, but it's just something I want to share. It's something I experienced and I figure I'd share all the things. It's not all good. It's not all perfect, <laughs> but I did use this uh, illuminating powder. They said you can use it on the face and the eyes. So I went in with the blush on my lids and then I used the illuminating powder on the inner corner. What I noticed by the end of the day is it's scattered quite a bit all over my face. So I personally won't be using that like that again. But as far as it on the face, on the cheeks, it held up pretty well. It still looks very nice and natural. It looks good. So here we are nine hours after wearing the Complexion Balm. This is a very comfortable product. It it's a nothing type of product in a sense where it's not giving you a lot, but it's giving you enough. It's giving you some hydration, a, a little bit of a natural glow. It's very comfortable, very easy. Like this is definitely something I can already tell you I'm going to continue to reach for and, and use. And I really actually like it with the hands. The other product that I've been using sort of kind of like this in my everyday routine is the one from Sisley. This is the Fito Tint Nude. This is a similar product. I feel this one has a little more coverage. I personally think skin tints wear the best <laughs> when it comes to, you know, the whole complexion category. I think of all of the products that I tried today, this would be my number one recommendation because it's just such an easy product. Um, next up, I will recommend this one. This brush... I was like very, very surprised at how much I really enjoyed it. I, and again, I like this brush over the blush brush a lot. And I do feel that if you wanted to, you could probably use this for blush because of the shape. You can use this to set the under eye. You can use it to bronze and contour. You can use it to highlight like I did. I like that it's not super dense so that you could apply certain products and get more of a diffused finish. I like this. I like this brush a lot. So I think these two are my favorite products of the ones that we've tried. But it's not to say that I didn't enjoy all of the other ones. I'm just saying like these two are like, yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about this Radiant Matte Powder. It's nice. I could honestly live without it. While as this powder does mattify my skin, it gives it a very soft glow. So my skin doesn't look dull and dry from... You know, you're more traditional matte powders. So I think 
it leans more on a mattifying powder, but it doesn't feel like it because of its super silky, lightweight texture. Um, it gives you just the right amount of luminosity, but not in a glowy, strong kind of way. It is actually a very beautiful powder. Um, but personally, it's not my favorite product. It's a good product. It's a nice product. It performed beautifully. I'm going to keep using it. I spent the money. I'm going to keep using it. But um, like as of like my first impression, it's okay. It's all right. The face and eye illuminating powder. This is very, very pretty. Like aesthetically, it's gorgeous. Um, it is a nice texture. It gives a very pretty glow to the skin and it's not too much. But on the face, it's pretty. It's not an over the top highlighter where it's like super beaming and strong. You can build it up a bit, but it's not anything that's too much. This whole, everything is very natural. <laughs> you can't go into these products thinking that you're getting something that you're not. It, none of these products are intended to be anything more than natural enhancements to who and what you already are. You know what I mean? <laughs> the blotting papers, or shall we say the little silk blotting papers made of mulberry and hemp fibers. These are really convenient. It's a nice, I, okay, I know it's just a blotting paper, <laughs> but it is, you can tell it's a high quality blotting paper. I can't really say I had a lot to blot. I, I still can't comprehend how I was not producing like I normally do with my skin type. And like I said, it was like 80 something degrees today. I like these. They're bougie. They're ashes for no reason. And they do what they're supposed to do. <laughs> Plain and simple. So that was the entire Hermes Plan Air collection. I thoroughly enjoyed my experience. I had a good makeup day. I was feeling really good today. I am even now still feeling really good. I would love to hear what you guys think about these new Hermes products. Comment down below. Let's talk about it. I'm excited to hear what you think. Thank you. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Thanks for letting me share this new collection with you. Please take a moment to give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I will see you soon. Bye.